Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create Leonard the Lion, the free pattern this month. So cute, look at his tail and how fluffy he is. So for this pattern, you are going to need to be able to embroider, which I'm not good at, so be kind on me. You're also gonna need some brown yarn, some yellow yarn, and I'm gonna make the line for this video in white. You're gonna need 14 millimeter safety eyes, some scissors, a tapestry needle, and a stitch marker, either plastic or string. String will be used in this video. Also, you'll need a crochet hook, four millimeter. I always seem to forget something in the intro. So to get started, we are going to work on the ears. You will make two of these. So to get started, you are going to single crochet eight stitches into a magic circle. Also, you will need polyester fiber fill. Again, something I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video. There's always something. <laughs> Once you have your eight stitches, round two is single crocheting in the round. And also a surprise for this video, we will have a special guest halfway through, so you'll have to stay put and see who comes in. So now that we've done round three, which is single crochet and two together and repeating it four times, we're gonna fasten off. I'm just gonna snip my extra string there. You wanna leave a long string for sewing and voila. Next, we are going to be working on his cute little feet. For this pattern, you are going to need to make four. So to get started, you're gonna start off with brown and you're going to work six single crochets in the round, followed by working an increase in its, each stitch. And then you will change your yarn to either yellow or white or whatever color you would like your lion to be and you're gonna single crochet in the round in the back loop. So I'm just fastening off my brown yarn and setting it aside and tying and securing all my strings. Next for rounds four and five, you're gonna single crochet in the round. And you're gonna fasten off and make three more of these. Next, we're gonna work on his tail, which is actually quite easy to do. So let's get started. You're gonna leave a little bit of a longer end on your slip stitch, I mean your slip knot at the beginning, because we're gonna fray that for the tail later. So for this, you're just gonna chain five and then you're gonna fasten off. Next, you're either going to take brown or white or gold, whichever color you'd like. For this video, I'm using the brown yarn. And you're just going to thread your tapestry needle and stitch a little bit right at the end of the tail and snip and tie it off. and then you are going to fray all of the yarn. There you go. And it's gonna give the tail a nice little fluffy end. Next, we're gonna work on his face and body all in one. So let's get started with that. You're gonna start off round one by working six single crochets into a magic circle. Round two is single crocheting in each stitch. Round three is single increasing in each stitch. And round four is single crocheting in the round. 
Round five, a single crochet in the next stitch followed by an increase Round six is single crocheting in the next two stitches followed by an increase. And here is our special guest for this video. Meet Zazel. She is my three-legged kitten. And it's very rare that she comes up on my desk. So she is in it for the long haul for the most part of the creation of the body of the lion. So let's enjoy Zazel's presence. So row eight, we are gonna single crochet in the next four stitches followed by an increase. And round nine, we are going to single crochet in the next five stitches followed by an increase. Round 10, we're gonna single crochet in the round. And row 11, we're gonna single crochet in the back loop in the round. And the reason for the back loop is we will be using the front loop later to crochet the lion's mane on. All right, so you can kind of see the face. You'll attach the safety eyes and embro embroider and bro embroider the nose and whiskers. And here's just some of Zazel watching and playing with my yarn. So fast forwarding a bit, I have attached the eyes, I have crocheted the body, and I have poorly embroidered his nose and whiskers. I am not good at that. <laughs> So that was round 12 through 19 is just single crocheting in the round. So we're starting out on round 20, which is single crocheting in the next five stitches and single crocheting two together. Next, we'll single crochet in the next four stitches followed by single crocheting two together. And at this point, I'm sure you're still watching this because there's a cat, which I am well okay with that. She's adorable and just a huge love bug. I think she's getting satisfied with my work and loving me up. You can't see it, but she's definitely giving me head pooks and getting a lot of little kisses on the top of her head. And at this point, she decides to leave and she's actually sitting on the cat tree that's right next to my desk. So she's still watching me. So now that we've decreased, stuffed him and added our clothes, close the end of him <laughs> i can't even talk now we are going to crochet the mane onto our lion and you'll be crocheting in the front loop single crochet in the round again this is a spot that we left undone from the previous back loop work For round two, we are going to single crochet in the round again. Next, we are going to do a repeating pattern of in one stitch, it'll be a single crochet and a half double crochet, followed by a double crochet and a half double crochet, and then a single crochet and a slip stitch. 
and this will be repeated all the way around in the round and this will give the lion his fluffy little sunflowery mane. Gonna fasten off our work and sew in our loose end. So here we have it. Now to assemble his ears, feet, and tail. So here we go. Ears. Feet. And tail. And there you have it. That is how you crochet Leonard the Lion. It turned out adorable. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help. Also, if you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button. And you can find a paid for version of this pattern on my Etsy site, or you can find a free version on my Ravelry. The links are down in the description below. Have a happy crochet day.